Hello everyone and welcome to class of Amazon DynamoDB. Today in our class we are going to discuss about how to set up Amazon DynamoDB. So we have two options to set up Amazon DynamoDB. We can setting up DynamoDB local and web service. That means the local is downloadable version and uh, setting up DynamoDB web service. So let's discuss about how to set up DynamoDB local which is downloadable version. So this is used to read or write application without accessing the actual DynamoDB web service. In this, the database is self-contained on a local computer. The local version of this to save on provisioned through throughput, data storage and data transfer fees. User don't need an internet connection while developing this applications. Here, it is provided with executable jar files. It runs on Windows, Linux, Mac and other platforms that which supports Java. DynamoDB requires the Java runtime environment version or new on a computer. It is also available on Maven as a part of to AWS toolkit or Eclipse. So if we talk about web service, to use DynamoDB web service we require to Sign in to AWS Management Console. We required to get AWS access key ID and a secret key which is used to access it. So for web service we can use or we can set up by using console, CLI or API. So if we use with console we require to go through these headers. We have to show streams and table details and we require to manage streams, TTL, which is time to live. Under items, we require to manage items and perform queries and scans. And we can monitor CloudWatch matrices. So here, alarms manage CloudWatch alarms. Capacity, as per the table's provisioned capacity. Global secondary indexes GSI and triggers manage triggers to connect DV streams to Lambda functions. Access control that means we can set a fine grained access control with Web Identity Federation. We can apply tag to our resources through which we can organize and identify. With the command line interfaces. It is used to control multiple AWS services from a command line and automate them using scripts. User can use the AWS CLI for ad hoc operations whenever such as they want to create a table, embed operations using within scripts, utility scripts. Before setting the CLI on a computer, we require AWS access key ID and a secret key ID which is identified using I am. We have to go through CLI and we will run on operating system. Install and configure. If we use API, we can uh, write application code with AWS software development kits. We can have supporting language like Java, JavaScript in the browser, .NET, .Node, .js, PHP, Python, Ruby, Android, iOS, etc. So this is how to set up Amazon DynamoDB. Thank you so much.